Great Yarmouth train station again on Friday the 5th of February and I've just had a meeting here with representatives of National Express and Network Rail to talk about what we think the station needs and why the station needs improving. To be fair to both those parties, they do recognise that something needs to be done and they do seem to be keen to talk, get together and have a conversation about moving things forward. I'm going to be arranging some meetings about that shortly and I'll be updating further on this webcast in a few minutes. It's quite wet today, it's quite dark, dank and cold out here, so we're going to get back to the office, start putting some things together and I'll record a further update to this webcast outlining the details of the conversations we've had later on today. Well, we're back in the office as you can see, uh, here in our Yarmouth campaign office following our meeting at the train station. It was getting a bit cold out there so we thought we'd come indoors to explain a bit more about the meeting. As I said earlier, we had Network Rail represented there and National Express, so the two key bodies we need to get some good work going on the train station. To be fair, both of them agreed that there's work that needs to be done and we've got some movement around some of the things that they're going to be doing shortly. The train station itself, National Express, are going to be looking at putting some planting in there over the summer. They've agreed that they're going to plan and do that for the summer. We're going to work with some voluntary groups locally to see if we can build on that process and get a bigger and bigger and better project developed for the station. National Express and Network Rail have agreed they'll work with us in order to achieve that. So there'll be more on that soon. The kiosk itself, they're currently working on, they're going through the legal process that will now allow them to look to go out to tender for a new kiosk. And they're looking at some options there. And one of the things I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks is meeting ASDA. And I think it might be worth saying to ASDA, why don't you come into the train station and have an ASDA place in the station? And maybe there's some work we can do there, but only time will tell with that one. We know the police are keen on seeing an improvement to the train station. Now, I met the police directly after I was at the train station and talked to them about the plans. Because it would be a better welcome to the town, that will help Great Yarmouth get its purple flag status, an important step forward in our development as a tourist resort and as a destination for people to come to. So they're keen on that. And also seeing a better station is in all our good interests and a safer station with better lighting obviously is something the police fully support. So we're going to keep this going. What we're going to do next is I've got them both to agree, Network Rail and National Express, to have a round the table conversation with myself, the County Council and the Borough Council, and I've already spoken to the Borough Council this morning, and the portfolio holder there, Councillor Graham Plant, is going to come along to a meeting. We'll talk to the County later and pull this meeting together as soon as we can. The reason this meeting is important is we need to put pressure on the Department of Transport. And it moves into the government now because it's the government who are in control now at the next stage. You can already look at the consultation document on the Department of Transport's website for the new franchise. The new franchise is due and Network Rail are going to be looking at that. What we need to make sure is that when they're negotiating and setting up the bid process, that the DFT make it clear that they want this station revamped. So we need to all make sure we put submissions in and we work as stakeholders and interested parties together to put the pressure on so the DFT understand we want, we need and we deserve a better train station than we've got, that could form part of the bidding process. So that the medium and longer term projections then for our station are good. In the short term we can work on those cosmetic things and we're doing that and I'll keep you posted on that. We'll be doing some stuff you can see on the website, on our campaigning section at www.brandonlewis.org where we'll keep you up to date with the progress on the station. Today is a small step but what we have achieved is something important. Recognition and acceptance from Network Rail and National Express that something needs to be done, that we need to step forward and improve the station. And they've agreed to get some of that cosmetic work underway in the next few months. So that's a great start, but it's only a start. We'll keep you posted. BrandonLewis.org.